1983 Chevrolet S10 pickups. They're all work, all play, and right for the times. These midsize, efficient, American-made pickups are built to meet America's economy, personal use, commuting, and on-the-job needs. And new for 1983, Chevy S10 pickups are available in a choice of two or four-wheel drive. And what's more, there's an expanded model lineup that starts with regular cab S10 pickups with either a full six feet of load length or nearly seven and a half feet of load length. And there's a new extended cab model with handy optional fold-down jump seats and a six-foot cargo box. There's also a utility body model available in two-wheel drive only as well as a new chassis cab model also available in two-wheel drive only. And depending on which model you choose, up to four trim levels are offered. The base trim level, the mid-level Durango trim, up-level Tahoe trim, and top-of-the-line sport. Every S10 truck is built to be not only comfortable and fun to drive, but to work tough, to handle hefty loads like this. And that's because all Chevy S10 pickups have been carefully designed, engineered, and tested to deliver the built-in value found traditionally throughout Chevrolet's tough truck lineup. And we're talking about value in areas like power and efficiency, ride and comfort, versatility and toughness, and four-wheel drive features. To find out more about these areas of pickup value, just punch up the module that interests you the most. Or better yet, watch the full story. When it comes to operating efficiency, 1983 Chevy S10 pickups offer a power team lineup that combines terrific fuel economy and impressive performance. The 1.9 liter and 2 liter four cylinder engines offer great fuel economy and plenty of power for most personal use as well as commercial applications. And for truly impressive performance, the available 2.8 liter V6 delivers added power along with impressive fuel economy. It's a real workhorse, providing the power to tow up to 5,000 pounds or the muscle to haul 1,625 pound payloads when properly equipped. Combining with these engines is a choice of transmissions. Standard is the four-speed manual with a numerically high first gear ratio for impressive acceleration. The available five-speed manual with overdrive features a high numerical rear axle ratio for sporty performance. Also available are a three-speed automatic and four-speed automatic with overdrive, which features a fourth gear that lets the engine run at reduced RPM during highway speeds. In addition, S10 pickups offer other standard value features that contribute to overall fuel economy and operating efficiency, like impressive aerodynamics to cut wind resistance. To reduce rolling resistance, high-pressure radial tires and low-drag front disc brake calipers are standard. S10 pickups also feature a 13.2 gallon fuel tank, standard. A 20 gallon tank is available for buyers wanting added cruising range. Chevy S10 pickups impressive operating efficiency pays off, not only with few trips to the fuel pump, but also when it comes to keeping downtime to a minimum. For example, S10 pickups feature long recommended service intervals for oil change every 7,500 miles or 12 months oil filter with first oil change and every 15,000 miles thereafter, spark plugs every 30,000 miles, and chassis lubrication every 7,500 miles or 12 months. And to help make servicing easy, the underhood layout is neat, with the spark plugs in easy reach and wiring and hoses out of the way. Impressive fuel economy, performance, and overall operating efficiency. They're an all-important part of the built-in value that people expect to find in Chevy S10 pickups.
new 1983 Chevy S10 pickups are built to be not only work tough, but also smooth riding. The independent front suspension system on S10 features rugged upper and lower control arms and coil springs that allow each front wheel to soak up bumps independently of the other. In the rear, two-stage multi-leaf springs contribute to a smooth ride. Each spring has four leaves, three of which provide light spring action when the pickup is unloaded or carrying a light cargo. With heavier loads, a stiffer fourth leaf comes into play for firmer support. S10 pickups also feature extensive use of sound deadening material. On the dash panel, under the floor mat, spray deadener inside the doors. of custom cloth or leather grain vinyl seat trim, as well as added insulation and sound deadening material under the floor covering. Tahoe provides the kind of luxury interior that rivals fine passenger cars. Foam cushioned folding back bench seat in custom cloth or leather grain vinyl. Full door trim panels with handy storage pockets and carpeted inserts. Deep cut pile carpeting and a sound deadening blanket under the hood. For a high style appeal, the top of the line sport option includes high back bucket seats with sport cloth trim, handy locking center console, and color keyed special sport steering wheel. What's more, S10 pickups offer a wide selection of options like halogen headlamps, sliding rear window, tilt steering wheel and power steering, automatic speed control, jump seats with extended cab models, power windows and door locks, air conditioning, four different sound systems, including AM FM stereo radio with cassette player and digital clock, and of course, much more. A smooth ride, handsome styling, a full range of personal options, all part of the impressive design and engineering that makes new 1983 S10 pickup such a great value. Whether for personal use or work, the S10 pickup is truly a comfortable way to go. Versatile new Chevy S10 pickups are built tough to handle a wide range of personal use and commercial applications. The business end of the S10 pickup is available in two box lengths. The short wheelbase model features a box that provides a full six feet of cargo load length. And the long wheelbase model features a cargo box that provides nearly seven and a half feet of load length with the tailgate up. Both boxes are nearly five feet wide and are available with a standard net payload of 1,000 pounds 
or optional packages that increase the net payload capacity to 1,500 pounds or up to 1,625 pounds. Either way, selecting the right payload capacity is simple because the additional weight of any optional equipment does not affect S-10's net payload capacity. Of course, to handle these payloads effectively, a truck has to be built tough. The S-10's rugged ladder-type frame is automatically welded to help assure precise dimensional control. Up front, box section side rails add strength and support where the engine, transmission, and front suspension are mounted. Toward the rear, deep channel section side rails, like those of a Chevrolet full-size pickup. The entire frame is painted with a corrosion inhibitor, then given a complete coating of hot wax to further help fight rust. The cab is designed, engineered, and constructed to deliver built-in value and quality. Embossments in the floor add to rigidity without adding unnecessary weight. The doors and cowl feature double wall construction for rigidity. To help provide a tight, consistent fit, one-piece stampings are used in the door frames and windshield frame. Throughout the cab, there's a generous use of special steels to help fight corrosion zinc-coated steel for outer panels and galvanized steel in the cab floor. The front end is smoothly sculptured and wind tunnel tested to provide a clean contemporary look and impressive aerodynamics for low wind resistance. The hood and fenders are double-walled with corrosion-resistant steel used throughout. In the pickup box, there's double-wall construction in the side panels and tailgate where the end seams feature a wraparound design to eliminate rough edges. The box is automatically welded for accurate alignment and dimensional control. Corrosion-resistant zinc-coated steel is used for the tailgate and outer box walls. The inner box walls are made of two-sided galvanized steel, as is the ribbed floor. All Chevy S10 pickups are designed, manufactured, and assembled by a net build process that helps provide consistently good fits. A simple one-piece bracket controls the attachment and positioning of fenders, hood, and doors. Door hinges are precisely positioned, then welded in place instead of bolted. A single bracket attached to each side of the frame is also used to mount and align both the rear of the cab and the front of the pickup box. The result is consistency and uniformity, a precise fit that can be easily seen in these small, even spaces between the hood and fender and around the door. And when it comes to finish, S10 pickups look good and are designed to keep on looking that way. In addition to extensive use of special corrosion-resistant steels, the front-end sheet metal, cab, box, and many small parts are processed through an electrostatically charged primer. This magnetically draws the paint to the metal, including seams and hard-to-get-at corners and crevices. After this, lower body sides are sprayed with a special chip-resistant coating that helps protect against minor stone pecking. Then all exterior sheet metal gets a coat of polyester-based surface primer. And finally, the truck's finish coat of beautiful acrylic enamel goes on, producing a deep, high-gloss finish. New Chevy S10 pickups. They look good, and they're built to work tough all day long. In 1983, there's a new king of the four-wheel drive mountain, the all-work, all-play pickup truck with the guts to make that tough climb to the top, the four-wheel drive Chevy S10. The S10 four-wheel drive pickup features a new specially designed and patented four-wheel drive system that can be shifted from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive or back again at any speed. Because there are no hubs to lock or unlock, there's no need to stop or leave the cab.
Here's how the four-wheel drive system works. A new aluminum differential carrier is mounted to the top of a frame cross member. It employs articulated half shafts, which operate independently in two-wheel drive, but lock up to drive the front wheels in four-wheel drive. These front axle half shafts are engaged by a pneumatically activated center lock in the differential housing. Because of this unique design, the truck may be shifted into or out of four-wheel drive at any speed. The four-wheel drive S10's front suspension features independent upper and lower control arms and computer-selected torsion springs, so the wheels work independently to help smooth out rough ground. A standard front stabilizer bar helps reduce body sway on turns. In addition, S10's trim width and tight turning radius help navigation through off-road terrain. Power brakes are also standard. For situations demanding added power, use four low to more than double the gearing reduction and available power to the wheels. With running gear tucked well up into the chassis, 15-inch wheels and available off-road tires, S10 offers impressive ground clearance. A standard stone shield plate for the fuel tank and optional shield plates for the transfer case and front differential carrier provide added protection in rugged off-roading condition. 1983 Chevy S10 pickup, the four-wheel driveway to be king of the mountain.